Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to welcome back, of course, Senator Ron Wyden. Senator, good to see you again. How are you today? Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for being here. So we've got a lot to cover here. So in the wake of the shootings in Orlando, Dallas, and now Baton Rouge, many are once again calling for gun control. How can our partisan Congress craft some legislation that both sides can agree on? That's what I talked about this morning, and it seems to me the next opportunity, something where you could really have a bipartisan effort, is to get rid of this 20-year-old ban on research into gun violence. Even the individual, a conservative Republican who authored this in 1996, says it makes no sense to have something like this. It basically kind of glorifies ignorance and is sort of anti-knowledge. And for example, I heard today that there's a lot of interest between uh, some of the childhood education uh, programs that youngsters might get about uh, uh, guns and uh, how to uh, handle them safely and then uh, getting involved uh, with violent activities later in life. You can't do research on that. This is the premier public health challenge of our time and the federal government isn't allowed uh, to do any research. Is there, is there some compromise that can be reached there? Do you think that's something that Republicans would agree to, putting some money into it? My hope system? is that they will say this has nothing to do with the Second Amendment. It's about making sure that you can look at the causes of gun violence, the contributing factors, the risks. This is something that shouldn't be political. So it's going to be a short session in September, but I'm going to do everything I can to build support for a practical, common-sense step, which uh, ought to have uh, been adopted long ago. Hillary Clinton is expected to name her vice president very soon, possibly as soon as this week. Uh, who would you like to see as her choice? I, I can tell you, now, first of all, I said a long, long time ago, I was the Senate's designated driver. I'm going to stay home and uh, work on the kinds of things we're talking about, reducing gun violence, creating good paying jobs and in innovation. I think she'll uh, choose somebody that she really feels comfortable with and that she trusts. Apart from anything uh, else, there's certainly a lot of qualified people for the position, but I think she's going to choose somebody she has uh, a lot of trust for. What sort of political experience would you want that candidate to have? They have to be ready. They have to be ready on, on day one, and uh, I think uh, she's looking at a host of, uh, of people. There's been a lot of speculation about who's being, uh, being vetted, but they just have to be ready on day one. You always have to think the unthinkable and, to, and have a person who can step in. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Senator Ron Wyden. Senator, you're heading to Philadelphia for the Democratic National Convention later this week. What do you want to see from your party there? I think we'll be unified. Uh, I'm one of the co-chairs of our delegation with, uh, with Senator Merkley. Of course, we know that uh, Senator Sanders won our, our state, but the two of them have been working together, I think, very well. And uh, a lot of people know that uh, in the primary, I ran an advertisement that highlighted uh, the role of both uh, Senator Sanders and Secretary Clinton holding down health costs, and I think reflects uh, the fact that there's a lot of common ground here. We saw the president announce uh, late last week, early this week, I, forgive me, it, continuing the war in Afghanistan. He's adding more troops now. Uh, how will we ever know when we are done in Afghanistan? My sense is, and, and of course this is a battle that has been fought for so, so long, you cannot dictate a military solution to what's going on in Afghanistan. I have supported a role for counter-terror operations. You don't want to let uh, uh, the extremists, the terrorists, establish a beachhead uh, in Af Afghanistan. They've been quite uh, um, aggressive for, for many years. And uh, uh, beyond uh, the counter-terror role, I have real questions about uh, uh, keeping 8,400 troops uh, as opposed to uh, going down to uh, 5,500. We'll be reviewing. I'll, I'm on the Intelligence Committee. We'll take a good look. All right. Uh, you, last week, and Senator Merkley introduced legislation on oil trains. Why is that so sorely needed? We need both a preventive approach and we need to have better investigations when you have an accident. And, of course, these trains are moving uh, through our state. I've introduced legislation for the preventive approach. More than 10 senators uh, have, uh, have supported it. It's a market-oriented approach, creating incentives to get the, uh, the outdated cars off the rails. Senator Merkley uh, looking at strengthening uh, investigations. The reason we have to do this is starting to feel like Colonel Sanders is guarding the chicken coop. These rail railroads just basically seem to call most of the shots in the whole uh, process. So uh, between these two, uh, uh, both prevention and uh, investigations, uh, uh, we have a chance to strengthen our hand and uh, protect the public. Now to my last question, and forgive me, it's, it's not the most difficult. 17 days until the Summer Olympics, what's the event you're looking forward to the most? That's not a hard call. It's basketball. I went to school on a, a, good choice. I went to school on a basketball scholarship. 
uh, dreaming of playing in the NBA. Oregonians know that uh, the problem was I was too small and I made up for it by being really slow. But uh, <laughs> uh, I think we've got a great, uh, great team. We're going to win it again. All right. Good to see you. Thanks Thank so much you. for being here. Appreciate okay. it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.